in this video I'm going to present you the layout of all the fuses from this Skoda Rapid from 2017. We've got the first fuse box under the steering wheel, so you have to pull the cover from this point. Then for the second fuse box we have to open the hood. And we're gonna find it right here. Just take out the cover. So I'm gonna look at it from this position. Fuse number one is for the radiator fan. Fuse number three is for the ABS or ACC. If you have a fuse here, it's gonna be for additional heating. If you have a fuse here, it's gonna be for the automatic gearbox. This one is a manual. This one is for the engine control system, engine electronics. This one is for the windscreen wipers. This one is for the battery data module. And this one is for the ABS again. If your engine is direct injected, you're gonna find a fuse here. This one is for the brake pedal switch. This one is for the fuel pump, radiator fan, cooling pump and pump for intercooling. And this one is for the engine control system. And if you have a fuse here, again, it's for the additional electric heater or valve for the intake manifold or supercharger regulator. This one is for the starter. This one is again engine control system. And we have finally a fuse for the additional electric heater and also responsible with the turbocharger unit, the control valve of the turbocharger, the EVAP system and the oil pressure control. This one is for the oxygen sensors and this one is for the glow plug system if the engine is a diesel and the crankcase ventilation heater, ignition coils and engine components. Now we are done with the engine bay. Now let's see those under the steering wheel. This one is for the left lights, basically the headlight from the left. This one is for the central locking system. This one is the relay for the ignition. And this one is the right light. This one is for the rear window heater. This one is for the blower fan for air conditioning system. Now starting from here, we've got the power windows for the driver. This one is for the interior lights. This one is for the horn. This one is for the power steering, operating lever beneath the steering wheel, engine control unit, automatic gearbox if you have one, selector lever for the automatic transmission, and towing equipment. This one is for the power windows on the passenger side. This one is for the cigarette lighter or 12 volt power socket, the front and rear window washer, operating lever under the steering wheel, basically the switch for the wipers. This one is for the fuel pump. And this one is for the radio. Now for these small ones, we've got the operating lever under the steering wheel, light switch, ignition key, removal lock, headlight flasher, and rain sensor. This one is for the air conditioning system, selector lever for the automatic gearbox and diagnosis terminal, the OBD2 port. And this one is for the instrument cluster, basically for all the switches on the dashboard. This last one here is for the front and rear windscreen wiper system. Now this first one from the middle is for the airbag. This one is for the power windows, light switches, reverse light switches, air conditioning system, park assist, exterior mirror, power fed to the central button strip, power fed for the side button strip and interior mirror. This third one from the middle is for the fuel pump, radiator fan, cruise control, coil of the relay for the front and rear windscreen wipers. This one is for the diagnostic terminal, headlight range control, operating lever under the steering wheel and interior lighting. And this one is for the coil on starter relay and clutch pedal switch. Now for the bottom row of these small fuses, we've got heating of the exterior mirror. And this one is for the ABS again. Now we are done as well with this fuse box. So the reason you have a lot of free slots here is because this fuse box is taken from a more luxurious Skoda like Skoda Octavia or other models which have a lot more features. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this video is going to be helpful.